Hey guys, how you doing? This is B. How's your day going today? Whip and chat. Next week is a live, but whip and chat this time uh, live at this stage. Scheduled. Well, not scheduled, but I plan to go live at about the same time as I'm releasing videos on YouTube, which is approximately, I think, 12 o'clock my time, or midday. So, hopefully, if you're around, you'll come and join me. See how we go. Today, working on Josephine Wall Magical Merry-Go-Round. So this is 100 by 75, 200 colours, and it's a square the image is up here um, i will show you where i'm at with this but obviously by the look of this i am on my last row so this is good fun and i've just realized i haven't got my tweezers and i don't mean it in a sarcastic way i am enjoying this one um yeah let's open this up now this obviously bucket loader symbols bucket loader confetti oh, come on i didn't really cut that i thought i didn't cut it properly but ah, there we go lots of confetti um a few what i will do no we'll put a picture in but here we go i'll give you a look at what the grid's like on this is the picture so okay so oh, you'll see the picture of what this is like as a grid um, how close it is how clear it is how I tackle these um, with so much confetti it's quite interesting how to tackle because what I tend to do is I will actually take the bottom corner and I work with that symbol when you work with a large diamond painting with so many colours, it's quite funny to work out, to remember your symbols. If you actually do a diamond painting for a like this and you do it a lot, you, your symbols and the location of them, because I have four trays, you'll see, I'll give you a picture of those four trays. Um, because they're in four trays, you eventually learn that where they roughly sit so um no multi-placer on this one hey and i am using a new diamond pen and i'm trying to remember where i got this from quite pretty this one ah i know where i can remember now let's see if this camera's going to pick up all the goodness oh, come on there we go this was actually from Timu. Quite sure you guys have heard of Timu. I've just done another two orders from Timu. Let's wait, there we go. Two orders from Timu. Well, for diamond painting specifically. So they are a couple of unboxings coming our way for you guys to see. Um, current symbol I am on and color is the So funny trying to work on getting the um it is actually the graph. Okay, hang on. There we go. Six eight zero, it's a graph. Quite a cute little um image. Quite a cute little um symbol. Gosh, it's getting bad. Um yeah, so I ordered from Timu and I've done a couple of orders from Timu um, and they are in shipping. What else is going on? So this is a chat to catch up with where I'm at. So this diamond painting, uh, obviously last row, image up there but picture of where I am up to now. Love these i will be ordering more um this is from diamond painting deutschland and obviously uh double-sided tape glue and they do squares and rounds 
they do tell you how many colors are in the diamond painting so if you see something and it says you know 200 colors you know there's going to be confetti and i will say thank you rachel ray because she actually a long time ago she was talking about obviously a long time ago because it's been a while since i've been on you doing youtube um she was talking about confetti and she actually said if you want confetti this is where the company you want to go to so i had a look um and initially i was struggling to order it for myself um because right in the very early days it was a case of they didn't ship to australia so they do now um which is really great but yeah, when I was looked initially looked, I was disappointed they didn't ship to Australia, so I let it go. Um, and I'd mentioned it at another stage, and somebody turned around and said, "Oh no, they do ship to Australia." So I, I looked further, and yeah, they ship to Australia. They are quick to arrive, which is really good because they don't use standard post. I think it was FedEx. I cannot be sure never no, not really keen on fedex but not really sure whether it was fedex or dhl it's been a while actually no dhl i'm trying to remember the packaging it hmm um what was it no it came through aussie post actually came through quick on aussie post because i remember i had to go and pick it up from the post office because i wasn't at home when they all tried to deliver there we go. There's the story of that one. Um, right. And you will have it where I have pauses. And it's holy and slowly because I'm concentrating to make sure I'm getting the right symbols. Oh, okay. I'm not missing any. I think I've got all of, the, all of these. Okay. The... stuff that I've done on the channel so I've done a couple of unboxings of Diamond Art Club now I purchased Diamond Art Club once a long time ago uh, it arrived 25 days more after ordering I can remember it but I was so frustrated because it took so long um, 20 yeah it took 25 days which is a long time to wait for something that's in stock <laughs> so it was holed up wholly by the freight company uh, i also had funnily enough the canvas which everybody loves uh, is very soft however um, my hands still um, have a bit of a little bit of a bunny feel to it so um, i thought coming back i thought well I need some art. Everybody's saying, you know, how quick quick these were delivered. So they've been around long enough. They should have had their shipping all sorted out. So I decided to actually purchase. Hence why you have seen two DACs. I have since purchased another two. And oh my gosh, I am very excited to say that of the second purchase i am in love with one of the images and i want more of those we um diamond art club never dac never used to have the um art that i liked and they actually do now so there's another change okay just having another look for the symbol when we get up close and personal that's the symbol, 3829. So, yeah, I have got four DACs now. And what I did do in when I did the second unboxing, I did say which one. So, Michelle, it's coming. <laughs> um, Moonlight Unicorn that is the one that is uh, being worked on it's being worked on differently so 
every now and then I try and play work on a diamond painting differently and this one was no obsession obsession uh, no object no no different how about that no yeah and I am doing it one color at a time I'm multi-placing which you know I, I'm not a big on the multi-placing but I'm doing one color at a time what that means is I'm working on one symbol the whole canvas before I move on to the next symbol so uh, it's quite interesting to do getting I have found that uh, I have had to go I've discovered that there is some times where I've missed a symbol we know that happens but I haven't gone back and added it in so when I get to the end of it we'll see how many I actually did skip because we all we all find that once you finish with the color you tend to find more <laughs> um, yeah so uh, that one I'm actually doing as a speed so I will show you it now but I am doing it at a speed uh, recording so it will be start to finish uh, in one video um, I I reckon probably the next or well, the way I'm going <laughs> hopefully the next two days it will be done so stay tuned for that video stay tuned for another two DAC unboxings stay tuned for two Timu unboxings for when they arrive then of course stay tuned for the live next week so guys I'm am stepping it up as you can see and so please comment like subscribe share all that jazz um, just tell me along all I need is a little hello just to if you drop it drop and by just a little hello and that just helps me with my little algorithm or whatever it is so that I can get back and start sharing sharing with more people um what else have i done obviously hopefully you have seen the moonlit night the charcoal drawing so um doing one of those a month so you will see those more often oh multi-placer coming out um Two threes. Oh, there we go. You don't use a multi place so much when on these, but when you do, it's like, oh, there we go. Um, yeah. So I've got quite a lot of the charcoal drawings to catch up on, um, and so I'm being able to go. I'll do this one. I'll do this one, um, and sharing with you. I will eventually to get every single image that they've sent me done, uh, every drawing done, but. Um, once I've done that then I will start ordering from them again <clears throat> okay looking at ordering more diamond paintings my concern is because I haven't really been in the diamond painting world for a while or in the YouTube diamond painting world I should say because I have been diamond painting I am unsure of diamond painting companies out there so what I mean by that is not the quality I am concerned about images and that old you know I don't want to get a copyright strike so um, if you guys have a company that you love and trust pop it down below I will have a look I have looked at some of the um, some of the companies that have I know have their own artwork um, but I'm struggling to find images that I like and I'm not going to order something I don't like because if I don't really like it and I'm ordering it just to unbox it I'm not going to do it and I'm going to end up with a stash and 
I don't want a stash. Um, yeah. I will always make sure that every diamond painting I order, I do. So that's, yeah, now nah, that's where I don't want to end up with too much um, diamond art stuff. Diamond, I well, shouldn't say diamond art stuff, but diamond painting stuff because I always want to do everything that I've received. And if I don't like it, I won't be eager to do it and then I'll end up leaving it. Um, because I've got a couple that I got from companies a while, a long time ago, and I haven't even touched them. I'm not that keen on the image. <clears throat> Excuse me, sorry. There we go. Let's. Oh, there's another one. They are so easy to miss some of these symbols. <laughs> okay. Um, so yeah, give me some companies that you know and trust for their artwork and I will have a look and see if uh, they are images that I like. I have looked at some already but mm, not quite keen on the, 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 that's the big thing is the image. If it's not right for me I won't order so I will keep looking. Okay. I think I've got all of those. I didn't even show you that symbol. It's the half man. What I mean by half man, I have a full man. <laughs> right, next symbol. Okay, so what else is going on? Um, I've got that, I've discussed that. Um, there's a few things that I've been trying to work out what to chat about. Um, I have uh, my, for those of you that are aware, yeah, winter in Australia. So uh, I have, Misty needs, needs a lot of exercise. Absolute lots of exercise. It's not that one. It's, where is it? There it is. Okay, next colour, 3740. Um, so when I'm not, at, not on shift, so um, for those that are not aware, I'm a, well, I'm actually rail network coordinator for a mining company, but um, train controller as well. So I work 12, basically 12 hour shifts. I used to do 12 and a half hours as a controller. That's all changed as a network coordinator. I finish a little bit earlier, which is fantastic. <laughs> so you're basically 12 hour shifts and uh, two days, two nights, five days off. Then I'll do two days, three nights, have four days off. And then I do three days, two nights, and have five days off. So I'm now back in the seat swing of um, doing diamond painting at the, the diamond, well, recording at the same time as uh, working a lovely full time, full and full time job. So, uh, yeah. So that's where I'm at. Where, you know, for those that don't, haven't been checking out my channel which I don't blame you. Um, so, yeah, so that's what I do. So, But um, how that affects Misty is when I'm on days... Oops, sorry, I just hit the camera. When I'm on days off, I tend to walk Misty at night time after, after dinner. But then she also gets a midday a morning or a midday walk to the park and then I throw the ball and she chases the ball and that generally only lasts about 10 minutes before she stops bringing the ball back and when she stops bringing the ball back because that's when we go home but <laughs> I used to just go well she stopped pulling the ball back so I used to go and get the ball uh, but discovered that 
I have since discovered that what she's like is when she stops bringing the ball back, she doesn't want to play anymore. So it's like, okay. Um, I now have her well trained for walking where I don't walk her on a lead anymore. I work, work in a, a, I am in a community where there is a lot of people from ah. India, um, which I'm not quite sure whether it's global or anything, but they don't like dogs. Very scared of, lots, lots of the ladies are scared of dogs. So out of respect, I actually have trained her to come and sit and wait till somebody walks past before we move. So as soon as I see somebody coming, do the responsible thing. Next symbol, 3726. So I do the responsible thing with her for when we do that. However, when I take her on her night walks, still off the lead, but this is what it's like when I walk with her at night time at the moment. It's pitch black and I'm wearing a head torch. I have got her a collar that lights up. Uh, that is since this video footage. Uh, but uh, ooh, I'll share that with you on my next weapon chat, what it's like to walk with her uh, with, at night time with her lovely new collar. Yet again, that was actually from Timu. It's pretty cool, I'm enjoying Timu a bit too much. Uh, yeah, so that's Misty. However, you would think that with all the attention she gets um, and the love she gets, that she would be a pretty good dog. Uh, we've had her dig a hole in our mattress. I'm not sure if you guys have, <laughs> whether I shared that before. I think I have shared that when we were away. So we we're actually on holidays and somebody else was house sitting. And the other day, she must have been trying to bury one of her toys in the couch. Thankfully, I, it's a modular couch, so it's curved and it's in piece. It goes together in pieces. So the actual couch that she actually dug a hole in is single seat, single bit. So that is now <laughs> outside in the alfresco area. And that's her seat outside now. She uh, she is also now banned from getting on the couch because yeah, maybe uh, maybe we give her too much attention, and when we are not around, she gets destructive. Don't know. Need recommendations on dog trainers in in Perth. I did have a dog trainer, but then she turned around and said, if you let her do this, you'll, you will never have control of her. And we realised how right they were. <laughs> so now she is no longer allowed on the couch. We still allow her on the bed, but we don't allow her on the couch anymore. So that is the big one. Um, but yeah, we're still able to use our couch. Uh, so... I probably, hopefully I've managed to put some pictures of her in of, from the last, last time I shared some images of her. She is very persistent in getting, trying to get attention. Currently now Nathan is at home. He is welding in the garage. Next symbol. Um... And I think I've managed to get it where you can't hear the welding, but him welding and grinding and stuff. Um, but I have shut the door, and she is alone in the in the you know in the rest of the house. Oops. Uh, so, truth will tell whether she's behaved herself while she while I've been in here. My kiddoki. It's one thing you never expect to use a multi placer on one of these, but you do. <laughs> Every now and then. Okay, so that's Misty. Nathan is. Nathan. <laughs> um, 
and he is currently currently putting a welding a box to go in uh, and out doing an aluminium box to go inside his boat for the fish I don't I think it's a life tank or something I don't know um, it keeps him occupied and out of the house so does me quite fine I don't get on the boat so if he wants to do something on the boat that's so long as it doesn't annoy me that the noise doesn't annoy me he does tend to use the grip with using the grinder and the welder the grinder's worse if he uses the grinder and the door's shut, if the garage door's shut, obviously that sound travels in, into their house. Um, and he has been doing some of that grinding, and, you know, he'll finish dinner and go and do some grinding till about half eight, which partially doesn't annoy me because I'm out walking this day, but it probably affects the neighbors because it's winter he's got the garage door shut at night time and the sound kind of stays in the house um, but yeah that's a the grinding sound just doesn't doesn't stop it's just constant at the moment okay how are our symbols going the open apple got to call it an open apple because there is a closed apple <laughs> a coloured in apple and just an outline apple I don't think I've got all of them alright um, so yeah that's Nathan Misty Craft next <laughs> children <laughs> Patty Troy haven't spoken to for a, little, for, for a couple of days or at least it should be more than a couple of days um, Dion, hey, it's his birthday today, so happy birthday, Dion, if you're actually tuning in. I'll be ringing you in another 45 minutes. Next symbol. Looks like a, hang a light bulb, light, hanging light. Okay. Um, yeah, so, Dion's birthday, he is, oh god, it makes me feel old. Makes me feel old when I talk about my kids' ages now. He is 28. And he turns around and he says, I'm 28, what have I got to show for myself? Um, yeah, he said it to me the other day, he says, I'm turning 28 and I've got nothing to show for myself. And I just turned around and I said, well, just, you know, I said, what do you mean? And he's like, I don't have a house yet, or I'm never going to get one. And I turned around and I said to him, how old was I when I got a house? He's, you know, it's like, well, because I didn't get my house until I was in my late 40s. So, a little bit of perseverance. I said, you'll get there eventually. And he was, yeah, but you know, the price you've got to make for a deposit and what you've got to do, how expensive houses are, which in Australia is ridiculous in comparison to a lot of places around the world. Um, even here in WA, our pricing is much better than if we were over on the East Coast. If we were over on the East Coast, my God. I wouldn't have gotten a house. The price of housing over there is ridiculous. So, um, yeah, so he's a little bit, was a little bit despondent the other day about it, a little bit, you know, I'm not getting anywhere, rah, rah. And the big thing is he has a, he's still in a graduate position, type position, still kind of in training type thing. But once he starts, um, once he starts as a full-time, I shouldn't say full-time because he is full-time, but once he starts as, uh, once he gets his career underway a bit more, he'll earn some good money and he'll be able to start saving because, my God, that kid can save. Um, he <laughs> He's not like his mother at all. 
um, yeah, when not many kids, can, he's so good at saving, I'm impressed. Not many kids here actually, when they buy a car, pay cash. So, you know, he'll get there. If he can pay for a ca cash, or yes, granted, second hand car, but if he can pay cash for a car, not get a loan for a personal loan for a car here that is that is really saying something so he will get there he is finding that uh, where he is is a little bit more expensive to live than when uh, he was living in Australia in WA so that's kind of shocked him a little bit but he'll get there he'll get there um, so there we go, that's him. I have, oh, I have three, two grandbabies now. I have two grandsons now, for those of you that have followed me. I have two grandsons. Um, so that's quite, quite good. I'm really happy about that. I very much doubt that there'll be any more grandbabies there. <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? Um, having two boys, I, they might, she might be like me and not want to take a risk on any more because you know, she was she grew up with a house full of sisters, so she's not keen. To, I don't think she's keen to risk having a girl. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Um, All right, how are we going? That's just got to look a little bit closer. I think that's about it though. I think that's an update enough. Um, I am out of practice of long Wickman chats. However, throw in a couple of pictures here, hopefully I'll remember to, of when Nathan and I went away last, um, we did a trip to Karajini and hang on. Yeah, we did a trip to Karajini. Did I just see one there? And it was absolutely stunning. It's our second time being there. So I will be doing a we can chat holiday chat and I'll share with you a part of WA that is absolutely stunning we were gone for seven eight days I think it was all up and it was us and another couple and it was absolutely wonderful it was a good trip, really good trip. A lot of rain we had on a couple of days, but it was a good trip. Okay, so there we go. I think oh, that's a half hour whip and chat. I think that's enough. I will continue to diamond paint, but um, I want to get this out for you guys because today is Friday and I want to get this out and to you tomorrow by midday, which is 24 and a half hours away and I still wanted to hunt and paint in between so you know um, on that note guys I will say thank you for watching please comment like subscribe share all that jazz and uh, bye for now